CBS News chief legal correspondent Jan Crawford is following the very latest from Washington. So, Jan, what happens now that the ban has been blocked for a second time? Well, I mean, as you saw from the president's comments last night, they are going to, again, uh, fight this through the appeals courts. This uh, likely will go back to the uh, Federal Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit. Hawaii is in that uh, appellate court circuit. That's the same court that kept it on hold uh, for the first order. Uh, so it depends on whether or not they'll give the same panel. I think that's kind of unclear at this point. But they're going to fight it. And President Trump said last night, if he has to, he'll take it all the way to the Supreme Court. Jan, how has the president's rhetoric influenced uh, this judge's decision to issue a temporary restraining order? I mean, it seems as if in one part of the brief they were quoting from the president. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's I think that's kind of the ball game right now, Vlad, because, you know, the this the revised executive order, I think there's no question that any other president uh, would find that to be constitutional. Federal courts give president's great deference on matters of national security. Uh, this revised order was dramatically different than the first one, and they provided extensive details for why they said it was necessary. As you remember, it applies only to six countries, uh, and they kind of detailed why those six countries were included, because they're terrorist states or in the grip of terrorist activity and basically can't control their borders. Uh, so that's why those six countries were singled out. Now, to have a federal judge saying, you know, we hear what you're saying uh, about these terrorism concerns, but we, we're not going to pay any attention to that because of what you said said a few months ago. And so that's what you saw this federal judge do in the decision last night. And that is highly unusual, to say the least. Uh, and I think it suggests that courts, uh, because of President Trump's past comments, are really going to be creating an almost uh, Trump standard when they're analyzing some of these uh, policy decisions that the president makes. Whether it will get upheld on appeal, I think that's the next question, of course. Uh, but at the outset, uh, you're seeing courts look very skeptically at national security decisions that any other president would have no trouble making. Yeah, but here's the thing. Moving forward, they can rewrite the ban in all sorts of ways if they want to. But the statements that the president made while he was campaigning, the statements by some of his surrogates, they're not changing. Just yesterday, even though you just said that, you know, the ban is significantly different, uh, from the first one, just yesterday the president said, well, you know, it's basically a watered down version of the other one. His own words sort of keep coming back. So how on earth is the Justice Department going to defend this ban moving forward? You know, there's no question that this is a watered down version of the first one. I mean, it's 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 much narrower, but they're going to say that this within the president's authority to pass this this ban because of questions of national security and the president's duty to protect the nation and its citizens. The problem, though, is that those statements in the past aren't going to go away. Now, the judge in his ruling last night addressed that, and he said, that now, you know, this doesn't mean uh, that those statements are going to be held against them forever, uh, particularly the ones that he made during the campaign and some of the ones made by some of his surrogates, and that they will, of course, be able to continue to enforce national security uh, policy or Im implement national security policy decisions. But that's kind of an unknown, like, how? You know, and, and whatever a federal judge decides uh, these comments uh, make this order unconstitutional, but this order will be fine. I mean, I think this is really different. I mean, this is not what you've seen, you know, when you're looking at is this order going to be unconstitutional under religious discrimination or equal protection or due process. In the olden days, you know, two years ago, uh, this order, a court would have said, we hear what the executive branch is saying. Courts are not supposed to second guess executive branch decisions on national security matters. We're going to allow a temporary ban that applies only to six countries. This is different. I mean, this is Trump's past comments, President Trump's past comments being held against him. And, and courts are going to take that into account. So I think you can kind of throw some of the law book stuff out the window right now uh, and, and see how courts are going to look at these past comments when it comes to whatever policy decision President Trump wants to make going forward. All right. We'll be watching. Jan Crawford, thank you so much. We appreciate it.